tall, yeah. The In the club, got them bottles on replay. Trying to break a record like a DJ. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy TDK, and I'm back, back. As we're moving on to this conference championship game, I just need this game, and I'm on to the Super Bowl. So far, with my boy Johnny Menzel, anytime I'm, I've, I've been in the playoffs, I have made it to the Super Bowl with this dude, and I have not lost. So far. You know what I mean? I, I definitely want to keep that theme going. As you see, this man gets a beautiful sack, just like out of nowhere sack, but it doesn't matter because I come back on the third and nine. I get the ball to my dude, your dude, ultimate legend, Randy Moss. The dude just cannot be stopped. Now, you, he, he put a little clamps to the to the to my um hashtag fast break offense, but you can't put all stops. You can't put the red light on my dude Randy Moss at all times. If you have a little little stoppage of uh, uh, the hashtag fast break offense, guess what? I got Randy Moss for you. He gonna put that 102 speed together and he gonna make it happen, Captain. But like I was saying, so far with Johnny Football, I've made when I have made the playoffs, when I when I've been in the playoffs, if I had made the Super Bowl. He has not lost. So far, I, I want to say he's had two Super Bowls. And maybe if you count those other Super Bowl games that I played in the past. I think I played, I think my last playoff run in the divisional game, it was a Super Bowl. It was someone else's Super Bowl. My The last conference was a Super Bowl. And then my regular Super Bowl. So, I mean, I've won multiple Super Bowls with this dude. As you've seen, you know I'm not going to forget it. you see the sweat box was real. As this dude did go on the fourth down. I, I, you're stressing over seven points, I can't call it. You know what I'm saying? Dang, now he about that jabroni life. And then right away, I'm trying to go right back at um, Randy Moss. I did have Frank uh, Franco Harris wide open in the flats. I could have easily checked down to him, but I chose not to. And then right here, I hit the playmaker for my dude, LaShawn McCoy, and he is just wide open. I love doing the playmaker, especially when the guy's just not paying attention, or if he tries to manually try to um, cover the player right there. I have Franco Harris again, wide open in the flats, yet yeah, I try to throw it down the field to my dude FB, and it did not work, but right here I do end up getting about nine and a half yards, and I'm looking to just let this hashtag fast break offense get to work, but Marshawn Lynch, he does end up getting stopped, so you know me. I'm going to keep it sim style or get styled on. I'm not stressing over three points. Like I tell people all the time, the best thing you can do in this game is take advantage of your opportunities. I'm not going to front. There are times where I'm like, damn, bruh. Damn, Gina. I do not want to settle for this field goal, but I'm telling you, hashtag Trill Team, take advantage of your opportunities. It, I would say 9 out of 10 times it will pay off. I'm not saying it's always going to pay off. But if you play great defense like your boy be out here doing, you know what I'm saying? You play a little offense, you know what I'm talking about? It will work out for you. You will win majority of your games if you take advantage of your opportunities. But if you play like a bonehead like this dude, as you see him taking his field goal right before the half, playing pretty smart so far besides, you know, the jabroni life that my man is living, he does get the ball back here in the second half. Throws the out route on the second down. But like I said, if you take advantage of your opportunities, I'm telling you. I would say, and I'll, I'll, give, I'll go as high as say 99.9% .9 of the time, you will win your games. If you take if you take advantage of your opportunities, play great defense, and, and pretty much win turnover ball. And by the way, use his old deck. You see me come and bite. You see me come bite and, and kind of look, he bait this man as we get the interception for this gentleman. So... I, I'm, I'm feeling myself at this point because I'm like, you know what? This dude, he was about that jabroni life. You know, he was about that jabroni life. And and, and at the same time, oh, look at Adrian Peterson, though. No. Adrian, yo, I, I think I need to get that bad 25 AP because this dude, Adrian Peterson, I got some other gameplay that y'all going to see with this dude, Adrian Peterson. This dude is a GOAT just for no reason, just a GOAT. And look at my boy, Johnny Menzel. You know I'm going to let him. Since he got us down to the one yard line, it'd only be right if I let this man get in the end zone, allow him to score, and then of course, day and night, I'm about that trifling life. So you know I got to get that two point conversion, get the ball to my boy, Mr. Reliable himself, LaShawn Shady McCoy to be exact. He gets us a two point conversion, and now we're up three to 18 on this clown. You know what I'm talking about? So you know he's going to run a play action on the next play, and it's smart. He's smarter than me. He starts checking down, taking what I can give him and whatnot. That's one thing in this world I cannot stand. It's getting beat 
deep. I I would gladly give up all the underneath things. I'll gladly give up the check downs, the the um. Not, not necessarily the out routes, but anything like hitch routes and stuff like that. I'll gladly give those up just because I cannot stand getting beat deep. It is one of the most annoying things. One of the most annoying things in this game that can happen to somebody is when your coverage gets beat. You see Patrick Wills in the backfield, though, causing havoc. You know how I be doing when I have my boy Patrick Wills in that backfield. And now this man's in the red zone, and y'all know how I gets down. When you get in my red zone, you better bring it because you know I'm going to bring it. And right there there killer cam shout it my boy your boy i've stuck with this dude even though a lot of y'all was like crazy move off from cam he is killing you smalls he is killing you but my dude killer cam cam chancellor to be exact limited edition he does end up coming up huge in the red zone to get us the interception to give us the ball back to allow adrian peterson damn gina he wasn't ready no my man no Adrian Peterson, what happened? This man took a shot. Now, I'm not even mad that he fumbled. I'm like, yo. I mean, mostly because, you know, hey, I, I, I made the right adjustments. And my, my, my boy, Patrick Peterson, he got us the interception. But, I mean, Patrick, not Patrick Peterson, Adrian Peterson, are you okay? Bruh. Let me hit that one more time. Bruh. This dude took a shot, yo. Like, his life was taken in front of him. As you all know, my man plays a coward role. You know, this community, yo, I can't call it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, you live the jabroni life, and then you play the coward role. So you know I sent that stamp of approval, letting him know. You a coward? Please break your diss. And by the way, you ain't got no pancake mix. But it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy, TDK. And I'm out.